all right guys welcome back to another video today is thursday and thursday is the day when we finally swapped to ek ignite yep we played wave of conviction up until now we're level 85 i've actually been doing ek since about two levels i think maybe thereabouts and i'll have you know that starting the challenge here saying that this build is something that will require 100 divines plus is completely false and we did it all in 2.3 divines and i'm gonna show you a spreadsheet of the costs right now and the more important thing is that the build isn't actually that terrible as i thought it would be for this budget i mean the clear speed is nice the survivability is you know probably on the low side uh from what i'd like i mean we have some evasion rating and uh, what not but it's definitely nothing to brag about but i mean i'm gonna demonstrate to you how the build works and to show you that i haven't really implemented any terrible you know money printing strategy you can see here that i've actually barely done any atlas i mean i have 60 points completed and i haven't farmed any red maps it was all done in you know high whites low yellow maps all doing you know uh, legion expedition and a bit of delirium here and there because i haven't blocked it and it was completely insane and it actually turned out that you could pretty much start wave of conviction do some farming you know on the completely low end i didn't even alt my maps i just transmuted them like doing blue maps or whatever and just running legion and expedition with a few other you know uh, whatever league mechanics i managed to save up you know about three divines worth of uh, of stuff to start my ek build and this here that you can see is something that i just did a trade about i actually found a really nice diff card called love through ice it's a double implicit corrupted um jewel which was really nice i mean it was quite a lucky you know uh, thing to find and obviously i'm gonna continue investing into this character i actually know uh, already what i'm gonna buy but without further ado let's just go for a gear breakdown and hopefully by the end of this video you're gonna be able to uh pretty much roll your own ek ignite especially if you've been saving up some money I mean, even for a casual like me, up until now, if you played since League Start, um, it's going to be, I think, pretty obvious that you're going to have a couple of Divines laying around. Okay, so uh, first things first, the Helm, obviously, get the Ethereal Knives Enchant. They're not that expensive. I mean, get just the base. I mean, yeah, I went for an Armor and Energy Shield for obvious reasons. Back then I had, you know, uh, an armor build. I needed the ES because that's how you cast your spells. But right now I would actually swap this for an evasion and ES ba uh, base. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, for me this works still. So just get whatever, craft some essences on it and then use some Eldritch implicits to roll some, uh, you know, useful stats. Like here I managed to hit a fire pen one. Uh, next thing, Gloomfang. Now, this is insanely cheap. I got this perfect roll for a, I think, one chaos. Uh, perfect lore on the mana regen, which I don't really care about. Try and look for something that's low on the, you know, lose life per enemy hit. So pretty much that's what you care about. The 10% prod speed is like whatever. And unfortunately, because at this level of gear, I had some problems with dexterity. I had to uh, anoint at most swiftness. It's not an expensive anoint. You know, if you're having trouble, just do it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, next thing was the shield. Uh, something that I paid about 20 chaos for a lot of life and a bunch of uh, suppress, uh, spell suppression because we really needed that because we were kind of low. We didn't have anything on our chest and just a bit of, you know, of uh, that on the passive skill tree. We had to get it somewhere and the shield is the best possible uh, place to get it. Next thing, just random rings. I mean, these are literally one to two chaos rings with chaos res because I wanted to fix up my chaos res a bit. It's still terrible, I know, but it's better than minus 60, right? Uh, we did a six link. This one I had for 8C. Uh, it was actually quite nice because it had just a little bit of suppressed spell damage. Then it, it had the sockets that I needed. So obviously three red, 
uh, green and two blue ones. I mean, in kind of the area of F8 to 15 chaos, you can probably get something like that. But I mean, that's nitpicking. You can literally do chaos recipe and just pick that up. The belt, it's quite terrible. I don't know if this is even worth one chaos. I'm not even sure. And I'm going to look to replace this as soon as possible, probably for a Stygian Vise or something else. Boots, same story, just life and some movement speed. The resistance is not really that high. I'm not sure why I even... Uh, haven't changed those and they have armor and evasion again you'd want evasion in es perfectly and the wand explosion wand 20 chance to explode this is a perfectly rolled wand 40 percent max throw fist to uh, as extra cold damage this i picked up for one chaos literally they these ones are pretty much worthless and that's about it for the gear pretty much the most expensive thing here that i bought was the shield and now we end up with this thing the gloves are a bit tricky to do uh, because first things first you need a good base which has percentage converted uh percentage physical damage converted to cold as you can see this is anywhere in the range from 15 to 40 chaos uh, what you can do is, you know, obviously just scrap some life here or scrap some resistances. This is going to drop down the cost a lot. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Something to, just to get you going. But again, if you don't want to uh, uh, risk that much, you know, or lose that many stats, you can literally just do Chaos Recipe for a couple of Blood Accurates run and just pick something uh, like this. Then what I did is I bought out a whole lot of uh, Eldritch and Exarch currencies because what you need pretty much when swapping to EK is a way to inflict fire exposure on hit and because we're not using wave of conviction uh, you have no way of doing it other than casting wave of conviction uh, manually but this is something that you're gonna do only on bosses and like beefier rare minions etc so this is one uh, really you know kind of um, benefit because you just run in, you hit a thousand mobs, and all of them have fire exposure. And obviously this gets uh, multiplied by uh, Mastermind of Discord here. So explosions you inflict apply an extra 25% to the affected resistance. So this is 25 plus 11, that's already 36. And then we have a bit more here, so that's minus 41 uh, resistance. And from that extra damage, again on BFR targets, we just use Falmability. So try and get this as soon as possible. Uh, Eldritch currency isn't that expensive. I think I spent around maybe 15, 18 chaos. There are about 20 something currencies rolling on this. And then the next thing that you want to do is, but that again is a completely a quality of life thing. In, in Ignites you inflict spread to other enemies within uh, an X amount of distance. Obviously, this is not something you will really need, but it's something that I would look to do like immediately after I, after I set up, you know, the, the rest of the gear, you know, you get the basics covered like stat requirements or whatever, because this really helps out with clear and you, you know, you have to remember that EK fires on, uh, you know, a circle when you have the helmet enchant, right, a circle of projectiles, but there are only 13 projectiles. So you're gonna have this, you know, blind spot where no monsters are being hit or, or you know, you can't just hit literally everything on the screen. It's not like an arc, like a Nova or something. So that's where Ignite Spread really helps us. And yeah, from then on, the next uh, thing and the last probably more important for you to roll this build is, of course, the Watcher's Eye Jewel. Um, I got a 29% one because the higher ones are quite expensive. I think I paid a divine and a half for this one. Let me just double check. I think it was thereabouts or maybe a bit more, but it doesn't matter. I've put in two divines just for as the cost, but pretty much the rest of the gear is kind of worthless apart from maybe crafting the gloves yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much the main thing of uh, of the build, this jewel. As soon as you get this jewel, the rest of the gear you can figure out. And right now, I also managed to get a Enlightened Gem. And it's a corrupted one, obviously, because it was pretty cheap, like 40, 50 Chaos, I don't even remember. And soon enough, I'm going to be replacing this helmet. I need an evasion base anyway, 
and I will use essences to craft a uh, mana reservation efficiency uh, helm. Obviously, I'm not going to use the screaming ones. I'm going to use uh, kind of higher ones, which are about, I think, 10 chaos each. So they're a bit expensive. Hopefully, it's not going to take a lot of rolls, but that's something that I can do now when I uh, sold my diff card. And from then on, it's pretty much, you know, the sky is the limit. I mean, you can always opt for a bow for uh, plus three to, to socket its skills. Here you can get a chest with uh, plus two skills. Uh, you know, you can also get the uh, ring, which I don't remember, Polaric Devastation, which is a huge damage boost. Uh, I mean, Skin of the Loyal, yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You have a whole bunch of tattoos that you can, uh, that you can use also on this tree uh, to increase damage and survivability. And, you know, it's just such a kind of nice build. To play around because it's super sweet for mapping i'm gonna demonstrate right now uh don't have my bind set but yeah uh obviously this is a low level map but again i'm demonstrating it on a map level where i actually earned the currency to to get this this build going so if i can do it on this budget you know and being the casual that i am Trust me, you can also do it. I mean, and as you can see, the ignite spread really helps on those ethereal knives blind spots. So uh, once you have it, it's the clear speed is just really nice. I think we have a yeah, we have a box here. Oh, nice! And I actually dropped out the essence on my tree because I'm gonna be honest with this build. Like mapping is pretty fast but single target damage is kind of on the low side especially with uh, my current setup right now i think i have about 400k pob dps i'm gonna link the pob below so you can check that out i'm not really sure to be honest but i mean as soon as you get polaric devastation some plus two skills and especially once you are able to run herald of ash you pretty much quadruple your damage in in an instant um, so yeah, as you can see, defenses, they're okay for this level, but definitely as soon as I replace some of my gear pieces with higher, uh, you know, evasion ones, uh, it's gonna be a lot better. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm pretty happy with the build. Uh, if you'd like to try EK and you're intimidated by the fact that, you know, somebody is telling you, yeah, this is really expensive. You can get it running at a lot lower level, okay, with a lot lower budget. Yes, it's not going to be the beast that you're seeing in the video, but I mean, this is perfectly fine for you to start like uh, farming some Alkin Go strategies, you know, simple Alkin Go, which can get you anywhere from, you know, half to four divines, de depending on which map level you're doing. And yeah, this is the next thing that we're going to be doing, actually. And it is, I'm going to be purchasing... I think 50 or so maps we're gonna see. I don't want to brick any divines or whatever and some of that currency I want to put into the character, but I'm gonna buy a whole lot of uh, open maps like this one and we're gonna run them in one stream running pretty much uh, Legion, you know, Expedition, strong boxes, you know, that kind of stuff. I have specced into Tujin because I just like getting that roll currency. So I'm just gonna try and show you guys what you can do on a really, really scuffed up, you know, character with half the, you know, Atlas tree done. So you don't feel bad for yourself when you see, you know, people with a full Atlas doing like T16s with, uh, you know, six div an hour. Trust me, you can do uh, a quite a big amount of currency and more than enough to finish up the game and equip your character just doing stuff in the middle of the atlas tree and that's something that we're going to be streaming uh in the next couple of days i'm planning to do it uh probably tomorrow evening but we're, we're gonna see how my schedule is have some real life stuff uh going on right now so yeah well this is it guys hopefully i uh you know made something that you will enjoy hopefully you give this a go because it's really fun. Again, it's something different. I really like to play it and I can't wait to put in, you know, some more investments into the build. And soon enough, hopefully you're going to see it on the stream. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please give me a like, you know, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out and it's free for you. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.